Hello everybody, Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. So I know a lot of you um, are subscribed to the channel because you want to see me make beats. So first, before I address the thumbnail and the title of this video, I'm going to break down how I made this beat. And then after, I'll talk about a topic that's been on my mind and the reason I titled the video the way I titled it. Started off with the drum loop from Clappas Volume 1. And I've been using a lot of drum loops lately because it just helps my efficiency. Um, it helps me come up with the chord progressions and the melodies. And then once I get... Then I added some chords uh, using Omnisphere. Duplicated that sound, chose another sound in Omnisphere, and used that as my chord layer to add more texture. Then I added the synth from Oberheim. After that, I added a bass piano note, which is something that I got from Cardiac, um, just to add a little bit more darkness to the beat. Then added an 808. Added some keys. Then for the last sound, which took it to another level, um, I used exhale, uh, like I've been using in all of my recent beats, and I added these vocals. <laughs> That's the entire beat. If you'd like to purchase a lease for this beat or purchase this beat exclusively, you can visit the website chrispunsalon.com or you can click the link in the description. Um, it'll be in there. So a topic that I've been thinking about a lot is the topic of all art being subjective, specifically music. What you like might be hated by others and vice versa. What somebody else might like, you might hate. And I feel like I've always known this, um, but it's hard for me to accept when it comes to my own music. I know that everybody is not gonna like my music, but sometimes um, I let that stop me from putting out music. But then I think about all the producers that have kept beats for themselves and accidentally played it for an artist and that artist liking it and then turning it into a huge, huge song. One song that stands out in particular is Girl by Destiny's Child, produced by Ninth Wonder. So he was telling a story about how he made a beat, didn't like the beat, was in the studio with Destiny's Child, accidentally played it for them. They loved the song, turned it into Girl, and now it's one of my favorite Destiny's Child songs ever. And that's a beat that Ninth Wonder didn't even like. It really makes me think about all the music that I make and then when I have those thoughts of doubt and just feeling like, oh, nobody's gonna like this, nobody's gonna listen to this, I get into that mode of all art is subjective and what I like is not what somebody else is gonna like and what they like is not what I'm gonna like, so I might as well just put it out and see what happens. And a personal example of that is I made this beat made this video and when I got around to finishing the video I just I don't know there's I just didn't like the beat anymore I just felt like um, it wasn't good enough and and the very next day um, somebody purchased the beat exclusively and since then um, I've just been putting out everything that I've made and um, it's a good feeling. So I say all that to say this. I'm gonna continue to make music that I like and just put it out anyways because I never know what people are gonna think. I'm just gonna stop overthinking and say fuck the haters. And I challenge everybody to just, just try it. Not literally fuck the haters, but just keep that mentality of not everybody is gonna like your music and you can't please everybody. And a big part of the reason why we don't put out music is because we're scared of what other people are gonna say. We're scared of the criticism and we're scared of just people hating on our own art, which I get. I, I totally understand because I'm still in that same boat. Um, but every day it's a challenge to just make music 
and just put it out just to see what people think of it. See what happens in 2018. And that is gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to Link V Music, D Bane, Mango Beats, Nomadic, and Rock Andretti for using the hashtag Chris Salon 365 In closing, I would just like to say, I wouldn't be here if I'd never put out all the stuff that I've put out in the past nine to 10 months. So that's all I have to say. This is not a uh, an ad, a brand thing for uh, Audio Technica or Push or this mini keyboard by M Audio. Just have it here to make it look like I'm a producer. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Um, the beat that I made earlier in the video is available for purchase. You can click the link in the description or um, visit chrisponsalon.com. And I will see you guys all in the next video. See ya. You seem to have things strangely confused in your mind. You should better grab some coffee. Your mind's beginning to play tricks on you. I loved her.